Arabic Mike and Rebecca. Rebecca. It's a special kind of addition, I suppose, because we're going to teach you something that hopefully you didn't already know. We're going to give you some tips on what? What are we going to learn today? We're going to do a little bit of an RP accent because I don't know how many of you are aware, but we've got another royal wedding in England today. We do indeed. Who's getting married? Which prince? Prince Harry. Prince, prince, prince Harry. Mm -hmm. Today is the 19th of May and Prince Harry yep. is getting married to Meghan, Meghan Markle. Markle. So in honour of that, we've decided to do a bit of an English themed accent video. I'm here with my sister, Rebecca. I'm Arabic Mike. I teach Arabic on YouTube and I teach uh, English on YouTube occasionally because a, a large part of my audience is from the Arab world, from the Middle East, from Saudi Arabia, from Kuwait, Egypt, Lebanon, uh, Oman, all over the place, Egypt, I said Egypt already. So today we're gonna learn how to speak English, like the language we're speaking now, mm -hmm. not just with a British accent, but with an RP accent. Let's start off with RP. What does RP mean? What does What is an RP accent? What does it mean? Do you describe so it? So RP stands for Received Pronunciation, and there's a long kind of history to the or origins Which of Which accent are you speaking with right now? Is this just Rebecca's accent? This is what you would call standard English. So okay. RP, like you can get heightened RP, or you can get sort of standard RP slash standard English, um, which right. is, it's not quite as stereotypically posh, but it's it's still. So which is the poshest accent? What like how would the Queen speak? Is heightened that... RP. Heightened RP. Mm. Can you do the Queen? Oh, so heightened is even more um, emphasised. I don't even know what the Queen sounds like. She doesn't speak often, does she? No. Um, it's just far more. Oh gosh, I don't even know. She speaks slowly. She does speak slowly. Heightened is basically just really, really exaggerated and very, very, very clipped and short and British. Basically. Very British. So we're going to share with you three tips of how to speak British with an RP accent. So what's the first tip? So the first tip is um, the importance of the letter T. T, T, T. Because so often nowadays, People become lazy, you become slack, it's easy to forget certain consonants. I mean, you do it without even realising. Yeah. And that's when your mum says, don't forget your T's. Our mum does, yeah. Yeah. T's, at least does. not anymore, but she did. Yes, she did. So it's like, for example, if I was going to say, Michael, will you pass me the butter? Who says butter? It's butter. butter. Remove the glottal stop between the the. Oh, there the, we uh, go. Techno. The, uh, yes, glottal stop. I missed that from my last video, but mm -hmm. it, basically it's a glottal stop. So, but uh, but uh, it's not quite like but, a Hamza uh. is like a El Masa. It's not quite a Hamza, but it's like a glottal stop. So, butter uh, becomes butter. butter. There we go. Butter is better. Butter is that's a good one. Yes. Butter is better, and it's it. it it's, if the T is at the end of a word, that's when it's more tricky to, to make sure you, you stay on it and you pick it up because, I mean, I just said it then, like, it, you pick it up. Like, when you're saying pick, things in a sentence, yes. it's easy to run sounds and consonants into one another. So you want to overemphasize, pronunciate, and make very clear every T sound within the word. Yes, so it's more kind of just being aware of um, finishing the sounds that you're creating. How would you summarize the, the first tip? of how to sound more RP like the royal family. Remember your T's. Pronounce your T's. Don't drop your T's. If, yep. it's, if there's a T in the middle of the word, say it. If there's and a T at the, at the beginning of the word, say it. If it's at the end of the word, say, say it. it. Okay, moving cool. on. Point two, what's the second tip? So my second tip is to think of the sounds coming forward. As I said before, you can get quite lazy when you're learning an accent or learning a language and you can sit quite back in your tongue and in your, in your mouth. Whereas the whole RP sound is quite light and quite forward. So you want to keep a nice rounded lip, nice rounded mouth and just think the words are like shooting out your nose and your mouth through the front of your face. <laughs> Did you get that? That makes sense! Can you give us an exp uh, a demonstration of saying something from the back of your and then saying something from the... I just did it yeah, myself that's, that. Yeah, thing. exactly. So you kind of want to be using the tips of your tongue, yeah. the front of your lips, rather than further back in the, in the mouth. Is that mm -hmm. right? That's right, yeah. Okay, so... So, like, I am 
sitting quite far back, like on my larynx, like my tongue is quite far back at the moment. I'm being quite lazy in using my mouth, using my articulation. And it sounds a bit weird, really. Your Whereas, body language is saying, I'm not really interested because you've got exactly, your neck back as well. It all connects, right. it all links in, like, you know, how you talk kind of reflects your body language and mm. vice versa. Anyway, so going back to the RP sounding quite light and forward and rounded, if you then start to think of it coming from a more forward place, it sounds lighter and more airy. Wow. And all you did that was by thinking about a different thing. Yeah, so you think of it coming forward through the teeth, through the lips, nice and rounded through the front of your face. So it's all resonating. That's the word I was thinking of. So it's coming forward and you are just projecting rather than sitting backwards and just being like, yeah, you want it to go forwards. I'm going to try. Okay. It's, this is your book, right? Can I yeah. just take this a minute? Okay. I'm just going to read it. Okay. This is me reading it from the back of my mouth. Work to straighten the cervical spine by lengthening and pulling slightly back. Mm -hmm. And then work, and now, now I'm going to try it forward, okay? Yeah. Work to straighten the cervical spine by lengthening and pulling slightly back. Now That's, do it backwards again. Work to straighten the cervical spine by lengthening and, and pulling slightly back. So it's so just it's, less it's clear. It's slightly different, isn't it? Yeah. It's got like a slightly muffled sound yeah. when I speak from back there. This is, um, do you want to recommend this book at all? Is this, yeah, this, is this a really book good is here. Book. It's written by the author Gillian Keyes. Gillian Keyes. Mm -hmm. And just, can you just explain for the audience quickly why you have this book? I have this book because um, I'm a musical theatre student and one of my modules is voice. So um, we were recommended to get this because it helps link the breathing to the voice to the sounds, to everything. So it's quite technical, um, but if you are, you know, really into your language, really into your accents and consonants, it's got some great technical um, hints and tips and um, some good phonetic advice and information there as well, so. Cool. Yeah. I'll probably put a link in bio or link in description. There it is. I think it's time, isn't it? Tip three. Tip three. Okay, Rebecca, tip three. Our third and final tip on how to speak with a received pronunciation is what? I like to think of it as speaking north to south. So similar to point two and what I was talking about in trying to get the sound forward and um, through the resonance in your nose, in your mouth, using grounded lips. Um, Tip three is imagine that you are elongating your lips in a north to south way. Like this? Yeah, so, yeah. I don't know how like to do it. Like a duck. Kind of. So some like accents, yeah. Like that. Yeah. Okay. Some accents are east to west, so they lie quite like flat. What? Um, like a California Scotland. accent is an example of. California? Yeah. Because oh, it's yeah, just I like this, yeah. all like. I mean, I don't really know if the sounds are right that I'm doing, but it's just so flat. Okay. Like, I mean, yeah. And when you're when you're speaking like that, your mouth is like this shape, horizontal, rather Horizon than... Rather than vertical. Mm. So, again, thinking of how we want to sound light, clear. Up. Crisp, up. Front. Another way of thinking of it is basically just thinking of speaking north to south. Can you give us some examples, Rebecca? Uh, what, in terms of a different east to west and north to south, or different vowel sounds? Uh, is there like an exercise or something that we can practice by speaking north to south, or? Um, speaking north to south, I would say linking it back to the rounded vowelness, so keeping it forward and keeping that north to south look. Mm. Um, practicing some sounds like lululu. Lu 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 la 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 lay 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 and then you should feel maybe a lay lay is more of a lay is more horizontal yeah a horizontal sound um thor or or that's a good one like either or or like an or like I'm going rowing like either or so or more sure poor core tor door door and then lu I just want to just clarify this so the third tip is to orientate your mouth visualize. north to south or visualize mm -hmm. your mouth being north to south rather than kind of flat so an art a renounced pronunciation uh, accent you want to open oh that's how hugh grant speaks 
Yeah. I've just realised that. Hugh Grant so, is a prime so example. So Hugh Grant and Benedict Cumberbatch, they speak like this, and now I know mm. why. See, can you see the, oh my God, yeah. the difference in how... Oh, oh, yeah. So basically, you just talk, but with your lips like that. I mean, it kind it, of helps to get into it. It makes it makes an incredible difference just in how you tighten the sides of your mouth, and then all of a sudden, you're you're, in you that sound very, very sound. different. So, wow. Oh, my good. I feel like I've just all of a sudden become a public schoolboy. Because it's all is... very forward. It's all very, you know, there at your lips, north to south. It's all happening in the front, very that's, round. That's amazing. There we go. You just need I've, to... I feel Pass. like I just want to take a three-year-long gap year, to be <laughs> honest. But do you know what I mean? So yes. That's probably the easiest tip. Out of everything we've done, this is the easiest tip for me. There we go. I can't stop. You've got to find what works weird. for you. That's not my accent, but uh, it's nice to know that I can use it when I like. So, RP. Well, there we go. RP. I, I feel like that's I've been, all you need to I know, I feel like darling. in some ways I've been born again. There you um, go. Very strange. Very, very strange. So, oh dear. Harry and Meghan, we wish you a happy wedding day. Harry and Meghan are getting married, probably right now. They're probably just coming into the church. And yes, it's important uh, if you do end up meeting the royals that you uh, probably pronounce your words eloquently and well and you articulate your sentences uh, in, in, in a well uh, formed manner. Mm -hmm. So, to be honest, uh, I hope you've learned something from this lesson. Yeah. We hope you'll come back again soon. And yeah, you've got more videos up there and there. And I'm Arabic Mike. What's your name? Ismi Rebecca. Ismaha Rebecca. And we'll see you again soon. Hope to see you again in the very near future. Film Mustaqul Qareeb. And uh, until next time, bye bye. Ma'asalama. Ma'asalama.